and symptoms of hepatitis C. Hepatitis C, commonly referred to as HCV, which stands for Hepatitis C virus, is frequently referred to as the silent killer because the individual is frequently unaware of its presence until the disease is in an advanced stage. Often, the disease is discovered through a blood test and the host may have no symptoms of its presence. It can present as either chronic, which is long-term, or acute, which is short-term and severe. HCV is an inflammatory virus that adversely affects the liver, sometimes the kidneys, and sometimes other organs of the body. It can remain in its host for a lifetime or it may pass through the body within a relatively short period. It is considered the most serious of the hepatitis viruses. Individuals with HIV are more susceptible to developing HCV and women are more susceptible than men. Up to 20% of people with hepatitis C eventually develop cirrhosis, others can develop liver cancer or liver failure. Up to 5% die from hepatitis C. How do you know if you have hepatitis C? Although the disease may never symptomatically manifest, even if it has progressed to the chronic stage, anyone who may be in one of the above risk categories should pay attention to the 10 following signs and symptoms of hepatitis C. one fever presence of a fever indicates that the body has an infection that it is trying to eliminate since viruses and bacteria are generally intolerant to higher temperatures the body's immune system uses a fever to kill the invading pathogens usually those with hcv may experience a low-grade fever following the fever people with hepatitis c may experience sweating and then chills a fever by itself does not indicate the presence of HCV, but if it occurs in conjunction with other signs and symptoms, you might want to consult your healthcare professional. 2. Pruritus or edema. Pruritus, or itching, and edema, or swelling, are common symptoms of a hepatitis C infection due to the liver's decreased ability to process bilirubin and eliminate accumulated toxins from the body. The cryoglobulins mentioned previously also contribute to pruritus. Although itching is not harmful, the danger lies in scratching because an open wound, however minor, can lead to infection. Medications are often prescribed, such as antihistamines, antidepressants, and analgesics, to help hepatitis C sufferers cope with the itching. 3. Muscle pain. Again, the presence of muscle and joint pain does not positively indicate the presence of hepatitis C. This is one of the less common side effects of the disease and the etiology is at present not entirely clear. Sometimes, Antibodies called cryoglobulins are produced by the immune system in response to the presence of hepatitis C and it's thought that these antibodies are the cause of the muscle and joint pain. However, if muscle and joint pain exhibit concurrently with other symptoms of the disease, it would be prudent to consult your physician. 4. Dark urine. Normal urine should be clear with a slightly yellowish tinge. Since HCV prohibits the liver from properly processing bilirubin, it is not uncommon for HCV patients to develop a dark brown colored urine. Although dark urine can be caused by other factors, such as gallbladder issues or insufficient water intake, if dark urine occurs in conjunction with other symptoms of hepatitis C, it is definitely advisable to schedule an appointment with your healthcare advisor. Five. Jaundice. Jaundice is the yellowing of the whites of the eyes and the skin. This usually manifests more as a yellowish tinge in the whites of the eyes and the skin, rather than a bright, sunny yellow. Jaundice occurs when your liver doesn't process bilirubin properly. Since HCV attacks the liver, the presence of jaundice is significant. If other signs and symptoms of hepatitis C are present and you notice your eyes and skin have become jaundiced, then medical advice is highly recommended. 6. Decreased appetite. 
a decrease in appetite that is not caused by dieting or other factors may signal that your body needs attention. Studies performed by the NIH, or National Institute of Health, found that the sensations of sweet and savory were altered in patients with hepatitis C. Although there is no definitive data on that the correlation between HCV and decreased appetite, speculation is that the altered taste sensation leads to a decrease in appetite and loss of interest in food. Seven, gastrointestinal disorders, apart from dark urine, hepatitis C causes other gastrointestinal disorders, including sharp abdominal pain under the ribs on the right side. Gallbladder issues can sometimes occur and those pains will be more consistent and closer to the center of the torso. Vomiting, nausea, and grayish-colored stools are also symptoms of an HCV infection. Even though these symptoms can occur with other illnesses, if they are combined with any or all of the other issues listed, you should promptly seek medical attention in order to prevent further damage to your liver or other organs. 8. Fatigue. Although it is normal to be tired at the end of the day, if you wake up in the morning and are exhausted, there may be an underlying physiological reason. Similarly, if you become exhausted after brief stints of mild exertion, particularly if you fit one of the above categories, it might be prudent to be tested for the presence of the HCV virus, particularly if additional signs and symptoms are present. 9. Tenderness. If the area surrounding your liver, which is in the upper right area of your abdomen, is painful and or tender and the discomfort cannot be attributed to other causes, you should seek medical attention. Having pain and or tenderness in this area does not positively indicate the presence of HCV, but if it persists and occurs in conjunction with other symptoms, then it might be advisable to seek help from your medical professional. 10. Depression. Since hepatitis C can have a negative effect on the central nervous system, experts postulate that this is one contributor to the incidence of depression in HCV patients, even those who are unaware of their disease. Researchers have discovered a correlation in 29 genes that are involved in brain and metabolic functions and they postulate that this is responsible for correlation between HCV and depression. If you have HCV, Hepatitis C is treatable and sometimes it disappears on its own. It is a serious disease but with proper care and treatment, those who have contracted this disease can lead normal, healthy lives. It is imperative, however, that if you have some or all of the above symptoms, that you seek medical advice immediately. Left untreated, this disease can result in serious disability or even death. Please note that the above information is not intended to treat any illness nor should it be construed as medical advice. It is intended for informational purposes only.